Good afternoon, everybody. We are back in Matthew. We're picking it up. We're in um, chapter 22, and Jesus is in the temple, and um, the Pharisees keep trying to trick him with words and questions, and, and um, he's making them look a fool. <laughs> so we're picking it back up here uh, now in verse 23. The same day came to him the Sadducees, which say that there is no resurrection. And they asked him, saying, Master, Moses said, if a man die having no children, his brother shall marry his wife and raise up seed unto his brother. Now there were with us seven brethren, so they're gonna try and trick him too. And the first, when he had married a wife, deceased. And having no issue or no child, left his wife unto his brother. Likewise, the second also, and the third unto the seventh. And last of all, the women died also. Therefore, in the resurrection, whose wife shall she be of the seven? For they all had her. And Jesus answered and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And the note in here, I thought it was interesting and, and appropriate. It says, note the negative, implying their, implying their unwillingness to know, not just stating the mere fact. Which I thought was interesting and, and true. For in the resurrection, they neither marry nor are given in marriage, but are as the angels of God in heaven. And how sweet it is. But as touching the resurrection of the dead, have ye not read that which was spoken unto you by God, saying, I am the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And this is quoted from, from Exodus. God is not the God of the dead, but of the living. And don't you ever forget that. The dead are with God. They are not out there in a hole in the ground. They are resurrected with him. And when the multitude heard this, they were astonished at his doctrine. But when the Pharisees had heard that he had put the Sadducees to silence, they were gathered together. Just trying to plot again. Then one of them, which was a lawyer, asked him a question, tempting him, trying to trick him, and saying, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? And I love this. This is one of my favorite things in the Bible. Jesus said unto him, out of all the commandments, thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. We're going to mess up all the other ones normally, but that one we should be able to keep. And that just shows the heart of God, I think. And the second is like unto it, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. On these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets, all on those two commandments about love. While the Pharisees were gathered together, Jesus asked them, saying, what think ye of Christ? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doth David in spirit call him Lord? Saying, and he's quoting Psalms here, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou, think about that, The Lord said unto my Lord, This is David speaking, Sit thou on my right hand till I make thine enemies thy footstool. footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And no man was able to answer him a word, neither does any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. Boy, he had him running. I was going to start the next chapter, but um, there's only a few seconds left and... and It'll take a while. So uh, I love you all. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And um, we will pick it up in chapter 23 tomorrow. 
Love and blessings to you. Have a good evening.